What's going on everyone? My name is Ryan Hurst and I'm going to be talking to you about the evolution of documentary film. In the beginning the idea of documentary films was done by the Lumiere brothers in 1895. They would film the world around them and show them to the public on their cameras that were reduced in weight and size and were more portable. Their films were only around 50 seconds long and contained clips of normal everyday life. In 1922 Robert Flaherty created the silent feature-length documentary Nanook of the North. In the documentary, he would follow Nanook and his family for a year of their lives. The documentary seemed to be portraying actual true events, but in reality it was all staged and made up for more of a dramatic effect and give the audience something more thrilling and cause them to watch it more. John Grierson actually coined the term documentary and he called Nanook of the North a creative interpretation of reality. Grierson went on to head the GPO, the 1930s, which led him to be able to put across his ideals and beliefs in documentary films and how documentaries should, in the creation of a poetic outlook on documentaries as seen by his film, Nightmail. A very influential film of this period was Triumph of the Will, directed by Lenny Reifenstahl, focusing on the movements of the Nazi party in 1934. Hitler personally chose her to do this documentary because she was seen as one of, if not the best filmmaker in all of Germany. Next, in the 1950s and 60s, a new era of documentary filmmaking was kind of introduced. Direct cinema basically trying to reach one goal and that was to portray the truth. Direct cinema filmmakers were still involved in the editing process and a lot of times they were in full control of what went on the screen so they could still alter the truth a little bit just to make it more interesting. Cinema Verde, on the other hand, shows the truth as it is without editing or any influence whatsoever of the filmmaker. Pretty much you had this same style of documentary filmmaking um, up until recent times in the late 90s, early thousands, when you started getting into mockumentaries. And basically what a mockumentary is, is they have the same detail and focus like a documentary would, except they do it in a way to reach a comedic outcome. One example of this is Borat in the 2006. And what you see in this mockumentary is him addressing the audience quite a bit. You can see him interacting with the audience, breaking the fourth wall, so to speak. And you really only see that in documentaries in that time and you never really saw it in film up until Deadpool and a little bit before then. And there is all different kinds of documentary films um, and more so reality films, which don't really have a story to them. It's more of just like, I'm gonna follow this one subject and then that's it. There's no story, there's no meaning behind it. They're not trying to get any audience to feel any certain way. It's just making it for the sake of making it because they think people might enjoy watching the lives of celebrities. Well, that is it on the evolution of documentary filmmaking. Thank you and have a great day.